But you know this uh, uh, this through the prayers uh, that has been prayed and the power of prayer that's kept a lot of us alive today. I, uh, not too many years ago, I was uh, uh, thought I was doing good and everything was all right. Uh, I was pastoring a uh, sweet gum church over there, uh, uh, and uh, the Lord wanted to sort of uh, test me, and uh, uh, so I had a heart attack, and, and they uh, cared, and, uh, and I went through uh, 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 this uh, uh, angioplastic. They tore the uh, the vow, uh, the uh, 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 next to the largest uh, 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 artery in my heart. Thought they'd got, lost me there, but God brought me back. Uh, and then uh, two, uh, two or three years after that, I had a more serious heart attack, and uh, the doctor thought I was a goner again. Uh, uh, but God uh, showed me as I was waking up uh, uh, from four bypasses, and He wasn't through with me. Uh, that I, I still had things to do for Him, uh, and praise God. And I believe uh, uh, tonight in, uh, that uh, I've been placed in the right place at the right time uh, to do God's work. Uh, uh, you know that uh, we we're going to see uh, uh, this church grow, and I'm uh, I'm serious about it. Uh, I got sort of uh, down and out a, a, a few months ago, and I got in the altar praying. Uh, and, and God, uh, I, I was telling God, uh, Lord, we've uh, we've struggled and we've struggled, and uh, there's nothing that happened, uh, and uh, we're not doing no good. And He uh, uh, showed me this church was doing some good, and there were some things that uh, uh, there were some missionaries that was getting supported at uh, uh, by our uh, our gifts to them that needed uh, that money to carry the gospel. Uh, he showed me some other things that uh, God was doing. Uh, uh, you know, and it's not for me to see, but it's for God and God uh, uh, to do His calling, uh, and I'm to answer. Praise God! The power of prayer uh, does a lot of things, and when we get down and out, if we we'll go to the Lord in prayer, if we will seek Him, He's God always got an answer uh, for us. Uh, we may not like that answer sometimes, but God mm -hmm. has got an answer. Uh, uh, Matthew seven and uh, seven through eleven uh, is our text tonight. Uh, Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Uh, everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Uh, or what man is there of you whom, if he has, uh, uh, if his son asks for bread, uh, will he give him a stone? Uh, or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? Uh, if ye then be evil and know how to give good gifts. Uh, unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask Him? Uh, uh, gracious Heavenly Father, tonight we thank You, uh, uh, God, for the holy anointed Word. Uh, we thank You tonight for the Spirit of the Lord we feel here today uh, and tonight, Lord. We thank You, God, for the Holy Spirit, uh, uh, God, that quickens oh, us. Uh, now, now anoint us, Thy servant, and we may speak the words of uh, that you would have us to speak here tonight. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Uh, hallelujah. Prayer uh, has uh, uh, great power. It can lift things uh, that is way too heavy for us to lift. A burden that in, uh, in our hearts uh, uh, weighs us down so much sometimes that we can't hardly move. But prayer will lift it up. And the Bible tells us to pray one for another. And that's because it, uh, that each one needs uh, that power of prayer that brings that lifting uh, our spirit upon us. Uh, prayer has uh, power to bring uh, uh, a true knowledge uh, of ourselves and other needs. Uh, uh, and our needs. And, uh, he, uh, he's there for us and He's... Uh, uh, he's ready to uh, fill the needs of our lives. Uh, there's nothing more uh, necessary than that we know ourselves and our weakness and our uh, sinfulness, how uh, that is in us, that is uh, to say in our flesh dwelleth no good thing. Uh, uh, our flesh is of this world. Our flesh is uh, human. Uh, uh, but to have uh, 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 Jesus Christ and His power in our heart. Uh, uh, you know, I used to get mad at my mother a lot of times. I'd, I'd be laying in the bed trying to go to sleep, and she'd be in the next room uh, on her knees praying, God save my children. Uh, uh, God don't let them be lost. Uh, 
God save them. And I, 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 I think to myself, Mom, I wish you'd shut up and go to sleep and let me uh, uh, go to sleep. I don't want to hear this. Uh, uh, but God was uh, doing His work. Uh, the power of prayer, Brother Don, uh, oh, uh, was amen. seeking out. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, it wasn't quite like an old boy was one time. Uh, uh, he wanted a wife, and he began to pray. Uh, and he thought uh, the best thing for him to do is get next door to where she was at. And she lived at the ne uh, next door uh, to the church uh, because her dad was a pastor. Uh, and he got in one of the Sunday school rooms right close to her house. Uh, and, and boy, he was praying, uh, uh, God, send me a wife. Uh, uh, please, Lord, send me a wife. But please, let it be Gwen. Uh, uh, he said her name was Gwen. Uh, uh, and he prayed uh, all afternoon. And uh, us boys, old boys, was uh, sitting around church and laughing because uh, we knew that Gwen wasn't at home. Uh, he thought she was going to hear him. Uh, that's not the power of prayer that God is talking about tonight. Uh, that's not the prayer that God wants us to pray tonight. Uh, uh, but he wants us to pray that prayer. Uh, that selfless uh, uh, prayer that will reach out uh, uh, to those that's lost, to those that's in sin, those that's, uh, uh, that's sick, and those that needs an uh, uh, uplift of God's hand. Uh, God uh, wants us to pray uh, for one another. Uh, Romans 7, 18 says, For I know that in me, uh, that is in my flesh, well, no good thing. Uh, for, it will, uh, for to will is present with me, uh, but how to perform that which is good, uh, I find not. Paul was saying it's a struggle uh, uh, to do the things that are good. Uh, uh, and there's no good thing in the, uh, in the flesh. Uh, and, uh, but the power of prayer will bring, uh, bring that flesh under uh, subjection uh, and bring us to the place that we'll yield uh, uh, to the Lord and let God uh, bless our hearts uh, and our soul. Uh, prayer has power to cleanse uh, our heart. Uh, uh, from sin, though it was uh, uh, as black as smut, uh, and though it uh, it'd be uh, uh, heavy with sin, uh, God can take a heart uh, and cleanse it fresh and clean. Uh, the Psalm of David said in 12 and 13, 19, 12 and 13, uh, who can understand his errors? Uh, uh, cleanse thou me from secret faults. Uh, keep my uh, back thy servant uh, also uh, from presumptuous sin. Uh, let them not have dominion over me. Uh, then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Uh, uh, the Psalm of David says, uh, Lord, keep me from all sin. Keep me from the uh, unexpected sin. God, uh, keep me from the secret faults uh, that I might have. Uh, uh, and keep... Uh, uh, and uh, uh, to stand in my back uh, and keep me, Lord, from uh, going in the wrong direction, uh, and keep me from the uh, the sins that uh, uh, that uh, that I, uh, others would presume that I do, or I would presume to uh, uh, myself to uh, uh, to let my life uh, be a part of. Uh, but let them not have dominion over me. Uh, uh, then shall I be upright, uh, and I shall be innocent. Uh, from the great transgression. Uh, uh, praise God. God wants us to uh, yield our lives to Him. Uh, he wants us to turn over all of those uh, transgressions to Him. Uh, and it's through, through the power of prayer. Uh, uh, praise God. Some mother Amen. somewhere is praying. Uh, some grandmother Amen. somewhere is praying. Uh, some dad or granddad is praying. Uh, uh, God save my children. Uh, uh, Lord help them uh, uh, to find the way. Uh, and God Amen. deals with the heart. Uh, it uh, neither matters uh, if far or near. Uh, uh, God's uh, hand is not short that he can't reach into the four corners of the earth. Uh, it's not so long that he can't uh, reach across the, uh, across the aisle. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, 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 prayer is being answered uh, uh, because the power of prayer is great. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, and answer uh, to David's prayer after his uh, uh, disastrous fall. God washed him uh, through uh, thoroughly from the iniquities and cleaned him uh, from sin. Uh, we know that David uh, sinned terrible uh, uh, when he cast his eyes uh, upon his neighbor's wife. Uh, we know that he sinned terrible uh, uh, in doing this. Uh, uh, but God washed him clean uh, again. Uh, and he was uh, uh, one of God's uh, 
closest uh, 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 allies. Uh, uh, the psalmist David uh, uh, in 51 and 2 says, Wash me thoroughly from sin, my iniquities uh, and cleanse me uh, from my sin. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, the sin is not the sin that you commit. Uh, uh, the biggest sin uh, is to have that sin laying on in your life uh, and not have uh, uh, ask God to forgive you those sins. Uh, Amen. Uh, praise God. A lot of Christians that went down uh, uh, and went under because they uh, were ashamed to go to God and say, God, I've sinned. Uh, uh, Lord, uh, please forgive me of my sins uh, and wash me clean again. Uh, uh, they didn't. Uh, they wasn't ashamed for God to know it because He seen it. But there's a shame for others to know that they had sinned against God and had sinned in their life. Uh, and all it would take that went to God uh, and said, God, forgive me. Uh, we were talking about uh, uh, in Sunday school this morning. Uh, uh, some of the uh, uh, people that was uh, uh, in leadership of, in the churches. Uh, and that they had let sin uh, 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 take them down, but they didn't let uh, uh, sin keep them down. Uh, they were washed clean again uh, and stood up uh, and uh, working for the Lord today. Uh, uh, praise God. It's not uh, the fault is not having the sin there, uh, but the fault is for not getting forgiveness of that sin. Uh, uh, prayer has the power to hold us up uh, in our going to give us victory uh, over the temptations. Uh, uh, we are to be tempted in this life, the Bible says, uh, as uh, as by fire. Uh, uh, and Psalm of David again said in 17.5, uh, Hold up my goings and my path, that my footsteps uh, slip not. David was all the time calling on the Lord. He didn't mind going to where the source was. He didn't mind going to where he knew his help was. Uh, and uh, uh, a prayer... Uh, uh, God is ever ready to hear is one uh, uh, Jesus himself said to his disciples that they, uh, as the hour of the trial drew near of him going to the cross uh, in Luke 22 and 40 says and when he was at, uh, at the place he said unto them pray that you enter not in the temptation he was, uh, he was going to the cross he was going to a place that he was uh, 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 go, uh, going to give his life for them but he was concerned about the disciples and he said, pray that you enter not into temptation. You know, uh, uh, that should be all of our prayers today is when uh, we go to bed at night, uh, ask God for forgiveness of the sins that we committed uh, 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 the day before, uh, that day. Uh, but when we get up in the morning, say, God, uh, protect me from the sins of this world today. Uh, lead my footsteps. Guide me uh, through this day, Lord. Help me uh, uh, to, uh, to, be, uh, uh, to go around the temptations and go around the uh, things that's uh, uh, there to, uh, to make me trip. Uh, there's stumbling blocks out there that the devil puts out to, and we have to be ready for them. Uh, and one way to be ready is to let God watch over us. I uh, uh, praise God. Uh, uh, and uh, and pra uh, prayer has power uh, to govern our tongue. Mm -hmm. To govern our tongue. Amen. Oh, the, oh yes. Uh, one wrote and said it was well, this. Uh, the tongue was one of the most unruly parts of our our body, uh, and uh, we need it. We need to have it uh, really under subjection. Uh, if one will honestly uh, and uh, believingly pray with David, as he said, "Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips." Hey, uh, David wrote, uh, wrote this. Uh, says, set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. Praise God. You know, uh, uh, a lot of times, uh, a word that slips out is a word that you can't bring back. It's forever lost. Amen. And you can't bring it back. Uh, and prayer has power to bring wisdom. In our lives, Hallelujah. the Word of God is uh, is very explicit on this point. Uh, James five one and five said, "If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God, that giveth all uh, to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, uh, and it shall be given him." Praise God! I don't mind telling, uh, letting the, letting the world know that I'm not the wisest man in the world. I make stupid mistakes. 
and I and, and sometimes I I, I uh, stumble uh, with uh, with my uh, I try not to make them in the in the Lord, but I I make stupid mistakes in everyday living. Uh, that sometimes I say, why in the world did I do that? Why did I, I why did I let myself get caught in this situation? But you know, uh, uh, if we uh, will pray and ask God for wisdom, even in our uh, earthly uh, 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 way, He can give us the wisdom not to make the mistakes that uh, others has made. Power, uh, prayer has power to open our eyes to behold the wondrous things out of God's Word. Praise God. He says, study to show yourself approved of a workman. Rightly divided the words of truth. Needed not to be ashamed. Hallelujah. That uh, as they as we uh, study the Word, we read the Word, we know the Word, then uh, we have the opportunity for God to uh, uh, to speak to us because the Word has been embedded in our hearts and our lives, and we uh, don't have to worry about the, what we're going to say because we know that God's Word comes forth. I was thinking, uh, telling uh, a lady the other day that I was talking to, uh, about her, her dad, and I had, went, had been to visit him a lot, a lot of times in the in the nursing home, and as uh, and we'd go in there a lot of times, and he wouldn't know who we were. He wouldn't know who uh, any anybody was that was coming in, uh, and uh, we would uh, sit there a little while and visit with him. He'd talk with us, but he still he didn't know who we were. Uh, we'd talk with him, and uh, after a little bit, I'd ask him. I said, uh, "You ready for us to pray?" And he'd say, "I sure am. I'm ready to pray." And he'd get out on his <coughs> knees, uh, and he'd pray for us that was in that room by name. He uh, he'd call us out by name and pray for us, uh, and uh, and it was a powerful prayer. It was a a, a prayer that I felt like was reaching the uh, open windows uh, windows of glory, uh, uh, because it was, uh, was coming from an old saint's uh, heart that uh, had been uh, sturdy, it had been true, and it had been uh, uh, tried down through the years. Uh, and he was praying a prayer that God was hearing. Uh, uh, but uh, as soon as uh, we'd get up from prayer, uh, uh, he had a uh, blank stare. He didn't know us anymore. Uh, that uh, he had Alzheimer's. Uh, but God would open his mind. God would open his heart. Uh, and God would use his prayer uh, uh, to touch others. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the Bible says uh, uh, from the uh, uh, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Uh, and what is in there, it comes forth. Uh, and, uh, you know, I uh, thank God we're thinking about uh, 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 Judy's dad. Uh, uh, there's not uh, uh, been... Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, no time. To, uh, he's been. Uh, he get angry a, a few times, uh, which was uh, not like him. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, sometimes he would uh, uh, say something that didn't sound quite uh, right. But there was never no cursing, uh, never no using God's name in vain. Uh, uh, and you know, uh, 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 and uh, now that he's uh, uh, down to the place that he don't. Uh, can't speak or can't uh, uh, can't eat or can't drink or whatever is going on in his body and, uh, and we hardly know if he knows us. Uh, there's one thing I know about him. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, the power of prayer that brought him through all of these years. Uh, uh, the same God uh, uh, that healed him from the death door uh, uh, with ulcerated stomach uh, is the same God that's standing by the foot of his bed tonight uh, and, and welcome him home uh, uh, when he's to go. Praise God. Uh, because Amen. that power of uh, that prayer uh, that it brought him thus far uh, has been sufficient. I uh, uh, praise God. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, uh, the, uh, the power of prayer uh, uh, is, uh, it has the power to open our eyes uh, to behold the wonders of uh, things out of our uh, word. Uh, uh, Psalm 9, uh, 119 and 18 says, Open thou mine eyes that I may behold the wondrous things uh, out of thy law. Uh, uh, prayer has also the power uh, uh, to bring fullness uh, of God's power into our work. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, hallelujah. In Acts 4, 24 it says, And when they had heard uh, uh, that they uh, heard that they lifted their voice to God uh, with one accord and said, Lord, Thou art God which hath made heaven and earth uh, and the sea and all that is in them. Uh, I pray th uh, them is uh, 
Oh, praise God. Oh, there are oh, the power of prayer. Oh, will carry us through. The power of prayer will carry us right on to that door opens and we walk through. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And when they had prayed and the power of prayer come down and swept the uh, 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 swept uh, uh, all the obstacles uh, 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 before it. Uh, uh, there, uh, it's uh, 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 God will open the heavens. Praise God. Acts 4 31 33 said, And when they had, heard, uh, had prayed, uh, and the place uh, uh, where they were assembled, uh, and they were uh, all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spake uh, the word of God with boldness. Uh, and the multitude of them that believed uh, were of one heart and one soul. Uh, Neither said any of them that ought uh, of the things which they possessed was his own, uh, but they had all things common. Uh, and with great power gave the apostles witness uh, of the resurrection uh, of the Lord Jesus, uh, and great grace uh, was upon them. Uh, Acts 5.14 says, And believers uh, were the more added uh, to the Lord. Uh, multitudes, both men uh, and women, of uh, uh, prayer will uh, cast out sin. Uh, Prayer will move mountains. Uh, uh, prayer will move obstacles. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's heavier than we can move. I uh, uh, pray God. Uh, and it is, uh, it is able uh, uh, to move that heavy burden uh, of sin that we can't lift uh, off of our own shoulders. Uh, uh, but Jesus come along. Uh, he bore the cross. Uh, and he also uh, bear, uh, bearing the sin of the world upon his shoulders tonight. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, and he... Uh, he, uh, he prayed to God and he says, uh, uh, These that I have uh, obtained here on earth, uh, uh, keep them uh, until they, uh, I can give them to you. That's in my own words. Uh, uh, but that's what uh, Jesus said. Uh, I pray God. He prayed uh, that you and I uh, uh, might have a place in glory. Uh, Praise God, it's wonderful tonight to know uh, that we can. Uh, uh, we don't have to have money in our pocket. Uh, we don't have to have great homes and great cars, a uh, uh, big business nowhere. Uh, uh, but when we have <coughs> needs from God, uh, we can get on our knees and pray. I've seen it happen. I've had it to happen to me. When it seemed like there was no way out, uh, uh, no way to uh, to have the things that uh, were needed, not just the, uh, no, nothing that I just wanted, uh, but the things that it, I needed, uh, desperately needed, uh, I'd go to the Lord in prayer, uh, and He always opened the door. Uh, I praise God in unexpected places, uh, and He supplied the needs. Uh, uh, I've uh, I, I, I've been I uh, was. I've been in need before and in prayer, uh, uh, and I uh, walked to the mailbox that afternoon, uh, I, and in my mailbox would be a envelope, uh, and it, uh, all it would say on there was uh, there would be some money in it. It said, "Brother Sanford, God told me to, that you needed this." Uh, you know, if God knows where we at, uh, if God knows uh, our needs. Uh, I pray God. He said He knows even before we ask, uh, but He wants us to ask, uh, and then He will supply our needs. Because there's power in the prayer of a saint. Uh, there's power in the prayer of those uh, that believe that God will meet their needs. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm looking forward to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, amen. I know that it won't be long as we Jesus, look at the times and uh, everything around us and we see that they are, uh, things are being uh, manifest to us every day as we look around us. Uh, uh, we see the Bible says in the, in the last days there have been all wars and rumors of wars. Uh, there's not a place on earth today hardly that they ain't warring against one another. Uh, and maybe not with uh, uh, guns and uh, and machines uh, uh, of battlement, but they're warring uh, in other kind of wars. Uh, uh, and but we see the uh, we see the guns and the battle in battlement uh, across our lands today uh, uh, in Egypt uh, uh, right now. That there's such a turmoil there that they don't know. Uh, which way to turn there? Uh, uh, we see down in, uh, 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 we see in Pakistan and uh, uh, and uh, uh, in Iraq and other places. Uh, 
uh, where they, uh, the towns are tore all to pieces uh, uh, with war. Uh, the Bible says there'll be war and rumors of wars, uh, uh, yes. tornadoes and uh, uh, and uh, and uh, uh, earthquakes. And we see that uh, earthquake uh, 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 makes tidal waves. Uh, and we see that uh, the our uh, tidal waves that uh, has swept uh, uh, several com uh, countries over yonder uh, uh, in the last few years and just almost wiped the whole thing uh, 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 out. Typhoons are going across places and wiping cities out. Uh, uh, we see all of these things. Uh, Matthew 24 speaks. Uh, it says, when you see these things uh, uh, coming to pass, uh, uh, to look up uh, uh, for the redemption draweth thy uh, and Jesus Christ uh, is soon to come back. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, he said also in that uh, uh, in that scripture, he says, and this generation shall not pass uh, until the coming of the Lord. Uh, a lot of people has uh, uh, as, uh, uh, misunderstood what he said there. Uh, he wasn't talking about the generation uh, that he was speaking to right there, uh, uh, but he was talking about the generation uh, of when they, they see these things coming to pass. Uh, when it begins to happen, uh, uh, look up uh, uh, for the coming of the Lord is nigh. We know that it's not long. There's never a time in life's history that we've seen so much going on that's pointing to the coming of the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. I just was looking at the news yesterday and they was leading this woman out of the house. <coughs> she had killed both teenage son, a son, a son and a daughter. She had carried their son to a, a soccer ball practice and on the way home, uh, he uh, uh, snapped at her or something, and she pulled out a gun and shot him. And when she got home, she uh, uh, taken that same gun and hunted up her teenage daughter and shot her. That's uh, a Satan coming against uh, families. And the Bible says in the last days uh, that mothers are big against uh, 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 daughters and daughters are against mothers and sons against fathers and and we're seeing all of this happen today. Uh, how many times in the last year have you heard of uh, 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 people killing their families uh, and, and uh, taking their lives? Uh, we, uh, we see all of these things coming up. Uh, and we're still blinded to the fact uh, that Jesus Christ is soon to come. Amen. Jesus is coming back. And He's trying to show us, church, that He's coming. Amen. And we need to be ready. Amen.